how can I fix saggy eyelids? This depends on if it's the fat that's making more of a bag or if it's the actual skin that looks saggy, that's extra skin. In most cases, it's a little bit of both. Um, the best thing really is a lower blepharoplasty. You can do this with an incision underneath the lashes and out in the crow's feet just a little bit. With that, you can take out some of that fat that's bulging out to make those bags as well as tighten the skin. You can also do the surgery from inside the eye so there's no external incisions. You take out that fat and then if you don't need to tighten the eyelid skin, then that's all you have to do. But in some people, you can do a peel or a laser just to tighten and resurface that skin. Can I tighten the skin on my eyelids? You can tighten the skin on your eyelids. The best way really is with surgery. If you make a small incision underneath the lashes and you can actually physically tighten that skin, it will be tight pretty much for the rest of your life. This is not something that changes that much over time. Um, some people will have the surgery later just to retighten a little bit, but most people really don't even need to. There are treatments to uh, non-surgically tighten the skin. These can include lasers, um, ablative and non-ablative lasers. These can include radiofrequency treatments um, that either work in the skin with microneedles or on the surface of the skin. And you can also do treatments with um, radiofrequency underneath the skin with little tiny, it almost looks like a little needle. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. Nothing tightens as much as surgery, um, but they do tighten to a certain degree. Obviously the minimally invasive procedures and the ablative surgeries are gonna give you the most tightening. And some people, that's really all you need is maybe an ablative laser like a CO2 laser or a YAG laser that will help resurface the skin as well as tighten it up. You know, if it's just more the skin texture and it's just a little bit um, of extra skin, or if that is a little bit too much for you, you can also do a non-ablative laser where you're red for a day or two, um, or a radio frequency treatment where you can actually apply it on the surface of the skin or with the microneedles. I've found that the microneedling with RF is the best non-invasive treatment, and that's where I've seen the best results, um, but you can also see some results with radio frequency just that's topical and some of the other treatments. What is the best treatment for saggy eyelids? Truly the best results are with surgery. The incisions heal very, very well, even if you do the incision underneath the lashes and out in the crow's feet. By week two, a lot of the times my patients can't even see their incisions. Um, if you do the incision on the inside of the eye where you have no external incisions, that heals in less than a week. Um, you can do injections that helps just camouflage um, what's going on with the eye and it will make it look better for a short period of time. You can do non-invasive treatments that will help to a certain degree, but it's not gonna give you the same amount of tightening as you would have from a lower blepharoplasty. Have questions? I help people like you every day and would love to help you. Give us a call or email.